The Teen Challenge here in Kigali has a training and uh, for workers uh, that are coming to be trained on how to be a Teen Challenge uh, worker and how to help people with, with drugs and alcohol program, uh, dr drugs and alcohol problems. From a Christian standpoint, we are a Christian-based program. We are hoping to help people to help that. So the people in the training, in the conference, are there, will be there so that they can um, learn how to help people. So won't, and so we're hoping it, the, the effect will is that people feel more prepared and uh, more understanding of how they can help, even not only workers in the programs, but pastors as well. Well, I stand with uh, Pastor Willie Ruminera, and we want to invite you to the training. I know many are already coming, but you would contact uh, his office if you're interested in coming. Kwenye kwa suuza awa kuri chila nye inyarugwanda bari mutore dutantu kwenye tukiji hugu haturi ni kuri aeroport awa tukwajo kwa chila iti nda jaba nye amerika bazi kwi kuzina jaba teen challenge na wandi bibi tukwa living free aho ba jwe mujikorugwa cho kuijisha awa nye madini na wandi wa yobo zibotantu kwenye waza ya kuijisha urubjiruko kubi inu bijanya no kuruguanya ibi obja bugenji ni jikorugwa chiza wera kuri AEE kabeza awa chiza wa jikurie mo awa nye madini wa turi se mu bihugu bitantu kwenye bjo kuisi harimo amerika ndete ni bihugu bjo mura afrika bili Uburundi, Uganda, ndetse na Kenya. Ni igikorwa bitaganyijwe ko kizatangira ku itariki ya kane gigasozwa ku itariki ya gatanu. My name is Wayne Gray and I'm the president of Teen Challenge of Oklahoma. And my daily what I do daily is we have uh, six programs in the, in our state and I'm the I'm the uh, overseer of those programs. We also have a program inside of a prison. And um, and so that's what my day is spent out with uh, uh, helping the leaders of our organization. Uh, so that they can help more people get off of drugs and alcohol. Okay. Is it your first time in Rwanda? Uh, no. I think this is my third time. I've been here two other times. Okay, you're going to tell us like uh, the project or what you're coming to do in Rwanda for this time? Well, the Teen Challenge here in Kigali has a training and uh, for workers uh, that are coming to be trained on how to be a Teen Challenge uh, worker and how to help people with the drugs and alcohol program, uh, dr drugs and alcohol problems. From a Christian standpoint, we are a Christian-based program and Christian recovery. And so there's, uh, I understand there's people coming here from six different countries for training uh, on Friday and Saturday. And not only that, there will be pastors in the training that want to learn how to do living free so that uh, they can help people that are in their church or their church families that need help with life controlling problems. Okay, when did you start this activity or this project, and why did you choose to do it here in Rwanda? Well, our local the director here in Kigali, Willie uh, Ruminera, is, he has a Teen Challenge here, and uh, he is also a, um, over the Teen Challenges in East Africa, and so he wanted to have a training um, for uh, the, the East Africa Teen Challenges. And so he put it together, invited us to come and uh, share and uh, do some speaking. So what's the feedback are you expecting from the random, I mean, young people in random who are using drugs or like the feedback in general you're expecting from your project? Well, we are hoping to help people to help that. So the people in the training, in the conference, are there, will be there so that they can um, learn how to help people. So won't, And so we're hoping it, the, the effect will is that people feel more prepared and uh, more understanding of how they can help, even not only workers in the programs, but pastors as well. Okay, so give a, a message to a young generation, especially those who are using drugs, like those specifically you're going to, to, to be informing in your project. Well, my message is a message, basically don't waste your youth. And uh, drugs and alcohol, they're, they're killers. It doesn't matter if you come from uh, a, a wealthy background, poor background, it's a, a drug addiction, alcohol addiction, it crosses all, all boundaries there. And so abstinence, don't, don't, don't try it and don't go there because it, there's no future. It will rob you of your future. And well, I stand with uh, Pastor Willie Ruminera and we want to invite you to the training. I know many are already coming, but you would contact uh, his office if you're interested in coming. Uh, my name is Greg Keelan and uh, I serve as the president of Living Free. Uh, we have about 240 locations in the United States. 
Uh, we serve ministries in 116 countries, and we provide the training and the resources for teen challenges and churches to use a Bible-based, Christ-centered material to help people overcome drug addiction and also any kind of life-controlling problem they may have. It's not just drug, drug and alcohol addiction, it's depression, it's anger, it's pornography, it's a host of different things that's affecting our young people and all generations. And what we wanna do is come alongside Teen Challenge, come alongside the church and equip the church to reach out, not only to the people in their churches because there are people in their churches that are suffering silent pain, going through something and don't feel safe to share. And so Living Free is a safe place to share their hopes and dreams and their struggles so that they can overcome and then partner with Teen Challenge so that those who can't make it in society can come into the program and it's a funnel from the churches into the Teen Challenge program. And then also aftercare for those who finish the program can come back into the churches and go through living free groups to continue their, their support to uh, stay sober. Bye.